from a gangster. Run, little girl, run, little girl, bang. I consider myself the epitome of toughness. Bruh. Actually, who am I kidding? I'm a total wuss, but the people in this video have a build and looks like nothing you've ever seen. They are like superhumans you certainly don't want to pick a fight with. Here are 10 black people nobody wants to mess with. Oh, Afro. Number 10, Giga Uhuru. Everything. The Holy Spirit gives me creative ideas. But not just ideas, but the ability to pull it off. And then whilst I'm pulling it off, he makes it safe as well. And even if something were to happen, he heals. For a good 20 years, Giga has honed his impressive martial arts skills entirely at home without a trainer. Quite impressive if you ask me. Uhuru's parents encouraged him at the age of 4 to take up Taekwondo, as well as a whole host of other combat sports and gymnastics. The sheer agility of this guy is astounding. It's true his unique blend of acrobatics and multiple fighting styles make him seem like a pretty formidable opponent. However, Giga isn't a professional fighter, but there is nobody stupid enough to test this theory. Number 9. Edward Hawthorne It is safe to say it's a good thing Edward Hawthorne is a police officer, cause imagine with superpowers like this, he could straight up become a supervillain. His colleagues actually gave him the nickname, Super Cop. Why is Obama there is no actual video evidence of Edward single-handedly taking down criminals? There are countless videos showing his mind-blowing workouts. Running from Officer Hawthorne? Yeah, good luck with that. I mean seriously, who in their right minds would dare to challenge the world's most ripped police officer? Number 8. David Goggins There is not a single human on planet Earth who wants to mess with David, not even Officer Hawthorne. David has seen it all. This recruiter laughed at me, that recruiter laughed at me, this recruiter said there's no way. And every time I heard a no, I said no, it's not meant to be. So I get back in my car and start driving back to work. And after I be at work for a few hours, man, I said, man, you can't give up that easy. But through self-discipline, mental toughness, and millions of reps, Gaggins transformed himself into a US Armed Forces icon and one of the world's top endurance athletes. Now listen to this, he's the only man in history to compete in elite training as a Navy SEAL, Army Ranger, and Air Force Tactical Air Controller. I'm the only person in Navy SEAL history to be in three hell weeks in one year. He went on to set records in numerous endurance events and a world record for the most pull-ups done in 24 hours. People can say whatever they want. The dude is as real as they get and a complete savage. 100%, it's not, it's like you can say whatever you want because on Instagram, you never know if what you see is what you get. It's, he's amazing. Number seven. Juan Kennedy. First and foremost, let me get this out of the way, Kennedy is in training to join the army, nor is he a social media influencer. All this is to enable him join the NBA. I know I know, seems over the top, but this guy's got a goal and no obstacle course is enough to stop him. Kennedy's training situation is dangerous. For the last five years, the Anglophone parts of Cameroon where he comes from have rebelled against the French-speaking government. Some of the fighting actually takes place near Kennedy's hometown and next to the court where he trains is a military base. In a video he once shared on social media, Kennedy practiced his shot one minute but then ducks from gunfire the next. Let's just hope he makes it to the NBA before a bullet gets him. Number 6 Hi, my name is Shayna. I've only been doing my talent for the past 5 years and it's completely self-taught. Shayna was a beautiful and insanely tough lady nobody wants to mess with. And it's got nothing to do with her being a woman. She will just straight up whoop your ass. Shayna had a motorbike accident when she was just 20. But instead of letting it bring her down, it sparked a whole new level of awesomeness. She busted out of those plaster casts and hit the gym with virgins. But she didn't just sign up like the rest of us mortals, she taught herself the whole thing. Fast forward to today, she's one of the few black stunt performers still kicking ass in the industry. I want to inspire as many people as I can to pursue a career not just in stunts, not just in film, but in something that makes them feel passionate about anything. Number 5. Michael J. White 
Michael Jai White is the real deal when it comes to being an authentic martial artist. Michael Jai White is Michael Jai White. Jai White. absolutely legit. At Michael Jai White broke the chain on the heavy bag at Legends Gym in Hollywood. This dude does a sidekick, a hopping sidekick, slams it into the bag. The bag goes kick against the chain yeah. and the chain snaps. That's real? A hundred percent real. This man has put in the time and sweat, holding black belts in more martial arts styles than we can even count. He proves that he's more than just a pretty face with bulging biceps. Long story short, mess with Michael J. White and you might find yourself waking up in another country. Number 4. Blessing Awudibu when it comes to keeping an online following entertained, nobody does it better than Blessing Awudibu. Blessing creates loads of gut busting sketches and viral videos that garner millions of views. Just like the time he realized there was a camera recording him at a grocery store and took to flexing his muscles for the enjoyment of whoever was monitoring the feed. Just because Blessing can and will make you laugh, there is no mistaking that this man is an absolute beast and with a body like this, nobody is going to try to piss him off anytime soon. Number 3. Mamudu If you've ever wondered if we have real superheroes living among us today, well I present to you Mamudu. This man put his life on the line scaling a high-rise building just to save a kid and he wasn't even a citizen. True story, Mamudu spotted a child hanging from a high-rise in Paris. With the agility of a ninja and the strength of a lion, he fearlessly defied gravity and common sense. He climbed the building with his bare hands and feet without a harness. It was a beautiful moment of pure adrenaline, an epic feat that left everyone breathless. Number 2. Keen Spider So, let's say this guy gets to play a live-action Miles Morales, can you imagine the possibilities? He's doing his own stunts from A to Z. Everything and anything that I've seen in the Spider-Man movie, if it's climbing a wall, if it's jumping over a car, if it's flipping, crawling, it doesn't matter. Like Spider-Man is like legitly my hero, so I love doing all of his moves. Baron Stalin, aka King Spider, is known for his incredible showmanship when it comes to superhero stunts. People are always amazed at his smooth and effortless Spider-Man maneuvers. The only thing this man lacks is his ability to make his own web. Number one, Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is a retired professional bodybuilder celebrated for his unparalleled success in the sport. He dominated bodybuilding, winning the prestigious Mr. Olympia contest not once, not twice, but eight times. The size of Ronnie Coleman alone is enough to make most people look like ants. While there is a debate about the role of steroids in his achievements, his legacy still remains as an icon of bodybuilding excellence. Now, who among these people is truly awesome? Leave us a comment down there. Do share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. As usual, me host Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay amazing, stay safe. Peace.